Hi everyone, this is Joey from downtowntrader.com and for tonight's Talk Your Book segment we're going to be talking about Crosstex Energy, ticker symbol XTEX. Uh, one of the reasons I like this stock right now, it's in a good sector as the recent momentum in oil is providing really good trading opportunities for anything that, that's in that sector. Um, looking at XTEX, it's actually been in a very good trend for quite some time. Uh, it, it had a very nice rally in the middle of 2009 followed by a healthy consolidation into winter and then a real nice real nice run from December into January almost doubling in price um, after that it was followed by another two to three month consolidation where it, it broke out again now digging I want to dig a little deeper and kind of show what the price action is showing if you look at that recent rally in December look how the volume really increased this shows that that bulls are really getting excited about this stock and there really were very few weekdays. There was a couple topping days here as I took a little rest break and then from there it really just shot up on really good volume. Then looking at the consolidation, why I say this is a very healthy consolidation, if you really think about what's occurring on each of these days and what traders are doing with this stock, look how the volume really decreased on that pullback showing very light volume on the negative days this is good because it's basically showing that people are not too anxious to sell and on any dip into the you know high eight dollar range notice how the buyers really stepped in here look at this bottoming tail here another bottoming tail here so anytime price dipped into this little area it really was met with very strong buying uh, later on in February same pattern it, it actually dipped below shook out a lot of bulls and just shot right back up and on the next couple pullbacks you notice it didn't dig as deep uh, you start to see a few narrow range candles and here's where the price action really started to look constructive as the volume really tapered off and the price ranges got very tight this is the type of pattern I look for um, because it one shows that the stock is getting ready to make a larger move and two lets you define your risk very tightly I actually took a position here uh, initially and closed it out just a few days later after it was um, getting into more of a parabolic move and it, it had given a real good reward in just a few days time so I felt comfortable taking that um, I left it on my watch list because again the price action looked very constructive over the longer term I've been waiting for an opportunity for this for maybe another month and a half and it finally gave that opportunity last week as it pulled back into this uh, prior breakout right now it's more of a base on base pattern where it cleared this and has been consolidating in a pretty tight range the volume again is is light so again all this looks very constructive the reason I I entered and this is the day I entered I entered last week um, it pulled back to test this area the breakout area and had a nice you know bottoming tail followed by a very strong green day that next day a bullish engulfing candle it kind of ran up wasn't ready to move had a, a, a shooting star that kind of was met with a few days worth of selling but you see the minute it pulls back into this 1040 area which coincides with the top of this pr prior base again buyers like swooped in and, and and supported the stock happened a couple days then gradually start to fall off and notice it's following the same pattern where that you know the days get real narrow in range the volume tapers off and it gave a really good opportunity here as it pulled into this support range where buyers had consistently been showing up and the following day as I made that higher high I took a long position so it, it was followed by a nice four day move into this prior range so this morning I actually took half of my position off uh, and then I'm still keeping my stop under this area because I still think this this um, price action looks very constructive at this point I'm looking for uh, hopefully a two or three day rest you know followed by a couple of narrow range candles you know and and then maybe hopefully a stronger candle that would give me a position or give me a place to add to my existing position I still think this is in a it's not overbought it still has much potential to to go higher and one of the reasons I'm looking at this if you look at the longer term charts there's a, a nice price void where this could really um, have a nice parabolic move into this range so if you notice this stock used to trade in the 30 35 dollar range before it really just I mean really fell apart during that bear market dropping to under a dollar a share um, the only real thing standing in its way right now is this small consolidation near the sixteen dollar range other than that there's really just a nice price void here where we're you know um, people were just stepping away from the stock 
if I, I feel strongly that if this can get clear this area, it could shoot up into this uh, fifteen sixteen dollar range. I don't know if it's going to take you know a few weeks, a few months, but again, this looks very constructive. Um, at this point, if it does continue higher, I would be looking to stop myself out on a close below the nine day EMA, and until it does so, I will continue to keep my stop here. Okay, so thanks for listening. Uh, I will be posting a a chart of this uh, tomorrow night because I know sometimes the charts don't show clearly on, on the videos so I'll put this on the blog and if anyone has questions feel free to leave comments or questions on, on the um, on the blog or you can email me, email me at downtowntrader at gmail.com okay thanks for watching